Hello everyone, I'm Duke James, this is Fez 3.0. Let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so I'm about 40% the way through annexing Granada. I released Leon, I found him in the list. I don't know if I just didn't see them before, but they're out now. And then I went ahead and I released Jenne. Jen. How do you pronounce these guys? So they have a couple cores. But I'm going to give them Mali's territory, so at least this corridor, I might keep this province. Pretty much the river province is this corridor right here, plus associated other territories. So for the most part, I'm going to focus on getting vassals and giving, feeding them. I'm going to try not to take too much territory myself, because I want to get to Tech 24 admin because that will unlock another idea group. And then I can do innovativeness, and uh, innovativeness gives 10% uh, knowledge output, and then admin, mill, and dip tech cost negative 15%, plus idea cost negative 10%, global institution spread, class labor 5%, and institution embracement cost negative 10%. So that should help. I was looking at global domain that gives uh, exotic demand plus 10%, exotic production 10%, some pathing and harbage infrastructure cost reduction, some trade steering and merchant trade power, a little bit envoy travel time, some movement speed on and off ships, blockade efficiency 10%, ship trade power propagation 10%, leaders without upkeep plus 2, land attrition negative 10%, ship trade power, the big thing with this, though, is that last one, which is Diplomats plus two. I think Diplomats are, are it's, I wouldn't say they're powerful, but it's good to have a lot. I don't think this idea group is worth taking for that, though. But I think that's the only way that you can get two Diplomats from ideas. I know you can get one Diplomat from Diplomacy. Because we had that. But I don't think these other things are enough to get me to do that. Because I think innovativeness is better and then bureaucracy. I would probably take that before I took that one. But yeah, so I don't really want to do much conquering unless I give it to vassals. Because I want to get to uh, Admin Tech 24. I'm building capital in my capital now. The progress, it needs 17 units. It's 16 units to get to level 1, and then I built an additional one as well. So hopefully that builds soon, and it doesn't take 100 years. I sent uh, some expeditions to Peru. I think I sent another one as well. They're down here. I can't actually get to it, so I'm exploring. Oh, okay. I was like, they didn't. Those ships didn't discover this, so I was wondering how they got over there. They went the long way. They went the long way this route. From what I can tell. England hasn't actually conquered anything over here, at least on the coast. But they did do a war over here. Now they're fighting France. As far as I can tell, they're not taking anything unless they have a whole bunch of territory over here. But they have nothing on the coast. This is Chimu. So I'll see if I can get a colonial nation going and then get some troops over there. Built an additional 5,000 troops over here to deal with some of these rebellions. And then I'm going to attack Mali right now. To feed these guys. Believe I should still be able to take territory even if I do this, so... I'll go ahead and do that. 
These guys can go just directly for their capital. And then I have this guy exploring. He's hunting for the seven cities. So I have someone exploring South America now. All right, that was successful. Yep, we took the province right next to that. All right. Yeah, that is Colonial Peru, Bolivia, Chile. Okay. So I'm going to send another one. Yeah, France is moving in troops. I don't know. If... What do you control, France? France will not leave me alone. Interestingly, nobody wants America, North America. They just uh, completely left that alone. Also, I'm not sure if colonies colonize. Aristocracy, diplomacy, fortification, administrative, economic, and logistics. Colonies might not actually colonize, which is weird to think of. Unless they get one for free, they don't have any ideas that would allow them to colonize. Weird. The other thing is I am colonizing this province, so that should give me access to attacking these guys with the Holy War CB. That's why I moved the troops over here. Those troops. I'll wait for the cannon to get up here before I attack those guys. Angry mob down here, okay. That's annoying. No, I just have these border. I'll wait a couple months, see if I get that Holy War CB. I think that might have been it. It, actually. Yep, that was it. Okay. These guys are allied with Mutapa, who's right next door to them, so... I'll attack them, call in these guys. Send another expedition to Peru. Actually, you know what? Okay, it doesn't look like I can actually take anything down here. Yeah, because that's Colonial Columbia. Really, the best thing would probably do to the Holy War CB. And then I can get half aggressive expansion against these nations. But I guess it doesn't really matter since aggressive expansion isn't that bad as it used to be. Let's uh, split these guys up. I'll grab this fort up here. I 
They hired out those troops. Okay, I don't know where those separatists went. They're just gone. That stuff is occupied down there. Well, you should see. Where are you? This giant list over here. Yeah, I want you to siege. This country, I want you to give. I should give everything. I think it's because they still have troops, they won't do that. Transfer this stuff to Kirwa. You can have that. These guys can explore. The problem with uh, this area that I was having with rebellions is because these provinces weren't in the trade company region, which I thought they were, but apparently not. So I put them back in and all of the rebels pretty much disappeared. So they're doing that over there. They're taking that fort. Killa's taking the other fort. Looks like Mutapa actually has a decent amount of troops. These guys can go chase him down. Alright, it looks like we yoinked this province from Chimu. And I think because I don't control these provinces, it's not going to uh, form a colonial nation, which actually isn't that bad. I'm going to see about bringing these 12,000 troops over. They can't get through down here. Where are those ships at? What are they exploring? Hopefully they'll explore down here. I guess I could bring them up here and then have them walk down. Looks like England's taken this province. Their total provinces cost 177%. If I could take this province and then if they form the colonial nation and then that's their capital, that'd be perfect.
Also, this port is on this side. I guess I could walk the troops down. I'm gonna see what that uh, the ship actually explores, and then move troops over there afterwards. Went ahead and gave this territory to Jen, Jenny, Jen, or Jian. I don't know what it is. Let's see. This guy's this guy will give his country over. To Kilwa, so give me ducats. Alright, four aggressive expansion for that. Oh, okay. Whoops. I did not want to do that. You know, that had not happened in a long time. And I was wondering why they were going to give me 130 ducats, because that seemed like a lot for a this country down here. That's funny. Tragic, but funny. Alright, so they got off. These guys got off easy. For nine years. I have troops here, though, so I'm going to... Find Kiowa, seize land. If I can take this province, I cannot. I think I can only take these provinces. Because if I can take that, then I should get a Holy War CB against these guys, and then I can expand into there. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to fight this raid, which is for one province. With Mali, I want these provinces, these two, and then a couple provinces over on the ocean. Let's go ahead and send the next expedition to Brazil. I want to start colonizing Brazil. Alright, so I think this province kind of does this weird thing. It touches two of these. That would just be a coalition with Mali. What about this province? Yeah, they don't want to give that one up. Yeah, I'll just take those two provinces. And uh, they can revoke some cores. And however many ducats they want to give me. Okay, so I'm going to transfer this province to... Our vassal. I don't want to make them return land. Alright, and then I'll core this one. I'll core those three. I have an extra colonist. I'm going to send them here, because I don't have a colonial nation here yet. So... And I'm pretty sure this is colonial Colombia. So Brazil should probably be over here. So I don't think there's any chance I get one over here from that expedition that I'm sending out. So I'm going to send out a colonist. 
I know there's some gold provinces over here. I just want to find those. I have to change the map mode type. I think New World would work. Alright, yeah, it's this province with the natural features. So that's convenient. Looks like there's two provinces over here. So go ahead and send a colonist there, grab that, get that colonial nation going eventually. Move these guys back over here. I think that might be... It's probably Chile. I'm wondering if anybody has maps. Nobody will uh, share maps with me. I checked. It's just a couple of uh, European powers. So what I'm going to do is uh, actually go ahead and take property from the burgers. I'm going to take commerce property. 3,140 units. I think waiting, actually, we get 300 more units of commerce property. So that's going to cost us the stability points. We're good on rebel factions, actually, so that's all right. That should net us a lot of money, though. And then at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm going to demote greater nobility. Actually, you know what? That's negative 25 noble loyalty yet. I want to do something with the nobles. I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to do this one. Restrict landlord sovereignty. What I really want to do is this one, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of jumping around, but... Uh... I think this one is the best. It gives negative one, the best one that I can revoke. Negative 1% noble gravity. Negative 2.5 base hierarchy, which is bad, but that's okay. Negative 10% local autonomy from noble power. So that will reduce autonomy in provinces where the nobility has a lot of power. And then negative 5% local corruption from noble power. That would lead to negative 50 noble loyalty, negative 40 relations. So I want to do that one. We're already pretty bad relations though, so... Instead of doing that one, I could leverage them to weaken them, because they've been in the 60s pretty much the entire campaign, but uh, doing this will make them drop 5%, so they drop below 60%. Not that one. Not not promoting. Demoting. The opposite of what we actually I actually want. We'd go to negative two stability, but I think we'd be fine. I'm gonna do that, and then I'll immediately arrange a strategic marriage, which will give some of that back. But they should still be at four and a half percent power loss. And then I also overlook tenant abuse. And then hopefully once I have the cores done, majority of the cores that I was doing before done, my stability will recover to one, and then I can go ahead and free the peasantry. But in the meantime. 
I'll try and weaken their power. I looked, uh, these guys actually have 40,000 troops. Chimu has 40,000 troops, and they're tech 18. So they're actually not that far off, so... I would need probably 20,000 troops over there, I imagine. And the other thing is there's a lot of rebels actually rising up in this area. So I kind of want to keep these troops here. And a 12k stack probably isn't going to do it. I think I would bring both of these stacks over there. I do have this 15k stack over here, actually. Which isn't doing anything, because I can't take this province. Although this 15k stack... Yeah, these countries are all Sunni up here, so I don't have a Holy War CB against them. So I can't really do anything in that regard. And there's Sunni over here as well. I think I'll send, once I'm done with... Brazil, I'll send some more expeditions over here. Yeah, so I think these troops, I'll probably bring them to the Americas. So I'm going to play for a little bit. Hopefully I can get this discovered and then move my troops this way. Otherwise I move them in from up here. I'm probably going to try to conquer Chimu, and I need at least 20,000 troops over there, so that's about half of my troops. If I have 8,000 8, over here, that would leave uh, like a 12k stack somewhere else to deal with rebels. But uh, yeah, I'll get that set up, and then I'll go from there. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.